Welcome to an art ritual honoring our ancestors. In the month of November, we are honoring all of our ancestors, known and unknown, and this ritual is an intention to honor them. We begin by setting up our environment, lighting candles, maybe some incense, and quieting our mind by breathing, maybe meditation, taking a look at the pictures of our ancestors that we might have known, setting an altar to them in honor. We begin with a sheet of paper, I'm using 5 by 7 and I just wanted a sketch out a circle in the center to give me some direction. I am outlining my sheet of paper as an intention for protection and this is a soluble crayon. Also it will give my drawing a little bit of an edge. Now take a deep breath and begin from the center of your paper to draw a spiral. Focus on your pen and your hand and this movement. It is a sacred symbol. Think of the universe. Think of the void. Think of the primal waters. And think of this dimension that we all come from and where we return. Take time and fill your space, beginning slowly and then increasing. Here I'm using uh, markers. Fill in this space until you feel satisfied. It will almost let you know when it's finished. Just listen to it. Next, we're blessing the water that we're going to use for this ritual. Pull out your favorite tools. This is one of my favorite brushes to use. I'm going to use it to blend all of this water-soluble markers and crayons all together. Again, focusing on the spiral movement. Next, we're going to sketch out our ancestor. This is just a symbol, so I'm making a human figure on top of my initial drawing, gently filling it in, and it's supposed to represent all of our ancestors, male and female. Our next step is this red color, red crayon. You can use any red pigment that you feel drawn to. This is representing all the hardships, all the trauma, all of the challenges, tribulations that our ancestors went through. We honor them. We honor their sacrifices. We honor their strength, their courage, and their tenacity for life. We honor it as an important part of the journey. Take a deep breath. Our next step is to fill up above our ancestor with yellow and green colors. Yellow representing wisdom and intelligence that our ancestors passed down to us. And green is for all the love, because the love is what makes it going. It's what keeps people surviving. It's what keeps people thriving. I 
I'm just going to gently blend these centers a little bit with some water. Getting it ready for the next step. A little too much, so use your tissue to dab out any excess water. Because it's wet, nothing else will work except acrylics. So we're going to finger paint this layer of blue representing water. Water is life. Water is a closed loop system, meaning all of the water that ever was still exists on earth. Because water carries memory. In this space, we are writing a gratitude letter to our ancestors. Write it from your heart. What would you say to them? Next, I'm using my fingers again to layer a white paint, acrylic paint, over our shape of our ancestor. This is a symbolic veil that all of our ancestors live behind in another dimension. I'm adding another layer of yellow and green acrylics again to emphasize the wisdom and love of our ancestors and also to give my drawing a little bit more contrast. While you're mixing the colors and enjoying this, think of all the wisdom and love passed down through to us. When the paint is dry, you are welcome to embellish it and make it your own. I've added a little bit of golden markers as rays coming out of my ancestors, as well as some more text and gratitude and love offerings in my native language. You might want to frame it and put it on your altar. We're finishing this ritual by saying thank you and meditating on what we've just done. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time.